What's going on, guys? Alhamdulillah, everything's good. You, mashallah, a lot of energy, brother. Abdullah, you're excited about the winners? You know, I, I have you know, I have to put my shades on a little bit, you know, summertime yeah. heat and everything. And <laughs> I'm indoors. I had to put the sun, you know, put the shades on and I thought I'd bring, you know, I'm very excited for today. It's gonna be really awesome, inshallah. We're gonna be giving out a lot of stuff today. Yes. So, so alhamdulillah, guys, those who are tuning in, this is Abdullah Zakaria from Iqda Reef, Southern California. We have uh, brother Khaled Khan, who basically covers a lot of the Midwest, probably like 10 different states, mashallah, going, traveling with uh, uh, with his director uh, all around different states. And we have Sister yeah, Sardia, uh Shahid, representing Shai Town, Chicago, and the back of school team, alhamdulillah. So, brothers and sisters, it's going to be a great moment today. Uh, we have a, a, a bunch of different people that are going, we're going to be awarding uh, with the Empower Grant. And we're going to learn, you're going to learn about what Empower Grant is as well, inshallah ta'ala. So uh, please, please uh, hold on tight. All of you teachers out there, please hit the share button right now. Uh, if you go somewhere down, I think here, right down yeah. here, if you're on okay. YouTube, Right down there, there's a subscribe button. Hit the subscribe button, please. Uh, there's also also a share button. Hit the share button as well. Inshallah ta'ala. We want more family, more uh, teachers specifically to uh, be aware of the Empower Grant that we're giving a, every year. So um, we're going to give you more updates on that, inshallah. Uh, Sister Sarya is basically uh, leading that program for the back-to-school program, uh, mashallah. And she'll give us more updates on that. So... Guys, what do you guys think about this uh, this Empire Grant so far this year? Oh, I mean, I'm excited. I think teachers definitely can use all the support that we can give them. And so I understand that we have very exciting applications that came through. It's uh, And we picked some of the best ones. And so, but everybody who applied, uh, you know, was, was somebody who definitely needed, had vision, and wants to do something extra with their kids. So, Mashallah. Mashallah. We're really excited to support teachers. Um, Alhamdulillah, like in our relief um, is a really, really great program that um, we have and we're excited to grow and help as many people as we can. SubhanAllah. You know, I remember, um, you know, I, I, I've shared with you guys very uh, candidly in other streams about, you know, being uh, from a low income community or family, um, you know, growing up. And I... Uh, I remember when, like, I didn't have pencils and pens coming to school, you know. Or maybe, I, maybe I had one pair, you know, one pencil or something, and then I forgot that one pencil at school. And, um, you know, the teacher would, would, you know, give us now, you know, a few times a year, yeah, not, not yeah. even once, right? They'd give yeah. crayons if we don't have it. Um, they would give us, like, pencils at that time, like, number two pencils. I don't know if you get number number two pencils, yep. number two pencils. My I, daughter just asked for one yesterday. She had to take her SAT, and she was looking around for a number two pencil. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's like, you know, it wasn't those rubber type, too. It was, like, yeah. real wood, right? <laughs> exactly. So, alhamdulillah, just getting the, those pencils out there. And I remember, uh, like, midway through the year, when students would not have the stuff, it was stressful for the teachers. Yeah. And I was like, well, why is the teachers having a bad day or something, you know? Yeah. But in reality, I didn't know. They're paying those things out of pocket, you know? Mm -hmm. um, and so we'll give them some statistics a little bit later, but uh, I, I didn't know that, right? Yeah, and so yeah. so when they sometimes get, get even sometimes get a little bit annoyed, uh, it's because, you know, they know it's coming out of their pocket and it's a lot, yeah. right? So. You know, it's like a, it's a good sum of money. In really? California, it's seven hundred thousand. It's seven hundred dollars a semester. Wow. Like a teacher pays out of her own pocket, out of her own salary. That's an average, not a state average. And uh, then teacher salaries aren't the top of the line either. So they're basically no. just making a buy in their stuff. And so That's I right. have a few teachers in the family, and I've seen them, you know, after school or before during the summer season, looking for the best buys to kind of take it for the school kids and prepare for it ahead of time. They give their time, their money, and their energy, mashallah. Alhamdulillah, alhamdulillah. And so, you know, these uh, programs uh, for, for uh, I think, Empowered, this really helps a lot of those teachers. 
Uh, and also, sometimes teachers want to do outside of the curriculum type of stuff too, right? Right. Mm -hmm. So, you know, if there's uh, a lot of, uh, you know, if there's stuff that we need to do for elementary school mm -hmm. teach, you know, mm -hmm. kids, mm -hmm. and they want to have like other things that you want to do other than just sit like there. Craft, it's just like craft paper or scissors or something yeah. that they need to make to like keep the kids busy. Yeah. Just yeah. Like simple stuff. Yeah, and, and we used to make those different things. I'm right. Sorry, what, how, how, what's your experience in school? Do you remember some of those things that you guys used to create? Yeah, like um, for Father's Day, Mother's Day, those little gifts or trinkets, those like little like toys. Um, arts and crafts are really exciting to do with kids. Um, and I remember, I didn't know, like teachers paid out off, off of their own pockets to give right. these good experiences to us. Yeah, so yeah. learning that and um, being uh, working for Kinder Relief, like having the opportunity opportunity to give back to teachers is really great um, and exciting. And yeah, I'm really happy to be here. Now we have a bu much bigger group here, right? There was a, this we talked about this Empire Grant for a while now, right? Yeah, yeah, a good a good year, mm -hmm. um, and. Uh, you know, continuously talking about Empower and how we're going to improve it. This is our second year having it, right? So, alhamdulillah, inshallah ta'ala, we can improve, inshallah. Um, I'm going to go ahead, uh, uh, if you guys don't mind, we're going to bring yeah. in some, a special person. Um, hopefully, do it. He, he had some issues with a little bit with internet and stuff. Let's bring him on board. Uh, of course, he's uh, no stranger to Ikhla <laughs> Relief. He's the CEO, alhamdulillah. So, mm -hmm. uh, Brother Maqsoud uh, Ahmed, uh, if we can get him on, uh, that'll be great, inshallah. Assalamu alaikum, Brother, brother Maqsoud. Assalamu alaikum. Alaikum salam. Inshallah, we've got to move on. I think he might be having some um, technical difficulties. I did get a message that he had an issue with his Wi-Fi a little bit. Inshallah. Oh, he's on. He's on. So I, I could have waited for the last few minutes. So that probably his system was allowing, uh, not allowing me in. Alhamdulillah. Okay. Alhamdulillah. <laughs> well, Maksud, you're live. We'd love to uh, hear from you, mashallah. Um, and... Uh, We've been talking a little bit about the Empire Grant, how long we've been going on. Uh, but you have a special passion for for this specific grant. Um, uh, with a lot, you have a lot of passion for everything we do at Back to School, mashallah. Uh, but uh, tell us oh, what you think about the Empire Grant, inshallah. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Thank you for having me. And uh, first, I congratulate the whole team for this wonderful job. And uh, it was a long campaign. Uh, and uh, many people think that that campaign is just uh, the distribution time, but it takes whole year of planning and uh, then ordering that stuff, uh, uh, <clears throat> making sure that it reaches to the right place uh, through the right people. So it's uh, almost a whole year work. Uh, you know, <clears throat> one thing which uh, just uh, all of us, we should thank our creator that human are special being. They are created with a special uh, uh, capability, mental faculties. And Allah SWT has mentioned in the Quran, and uh, I believe in other scriptures, uh, the special status for the human being. Uh, that uh, at one place. So these tell that they are, we are created in the best of the shape and form and with the best of the capabilities. Uh, so every individual, doesn't matter that person is born over here in a rich family or in a very poor place in third world country, has a lot of capabilities and sometimes a little bit of uh, a conducive environment, helpful environment, a little bit of encouragement uh, can make a difference in the life of a person. And uh, it... <clears throat> Uh, Sometimes uh, we don't look into, I was just uh, uh, reading an article lately that uh, 16 of the U.S. presidents over the last, uh, and you know, it's, uh, U.S. No, our country don't have a long history. It's just uh, uh, close to 200 years. 16 of those presidents came from very, very humble background. Uh, but 
it is the talent one thing that every human has so capable and there was a li uh, little encouragement their hard work and they made it to the top uh it's again uh, uh, for me it's a personal fashion uh, passion that uh, i come from a very uh, uh, countryside in a um, uh, village from pakistan now things have changed uh, uh, a little bit but still uh, you can imagine that uh, uh, 40 year uh, it's uh, almost uh, more than 50 years uh, when i was uh, early in the school uh, at that time it was a middle school the uncle middle school its name and uh, it has uh, uh, a classroom only starting from 6th grade from my first grade until fifth grade all we had is just few trees outside and um, if it is rain if it is a uh, uh, weather is not good for any reason uh, there is no school uh, we uh, didn't had any place to sit just uh, uh, sit on the and that uh, under the uh, tree it is not a paved a uh, thing just uh, like uh, you can imagine that um, what kind of uh, things um, and uh, a book bag it was just uh, sometime those people who could afford if their mom make something little bit for them and i remember that in uh, when i moved from uh, second grade to third somehow it's uh, I, i think that i thank uh, allah subhanahu wa taala that uh, that environment somehow i did a good um, uh, in the exam and one of my uncles he uh, gave a few rupees and um, um, like a, not even a dollar one dollar make 300 rupees even now but at that time it might have been a different ratio uh, as a gift that was good enough to buy a new uh, not a backpack but a few we call it a small uh, a book and a slate to write on that so that lit encouragement I will just imagine a small ch uh, child uh, uh, feel that I have done something, I have accomplished something. Uh, that just made me that I have to continue on this path, and the rest is history. Throughout, uh, again, it's not about myself uh, bragging about myself. Since then, Alhamdulillah, I was able to get to the best universities in US with a full scholarship. My parents didn't have to pay a single penny. they probably could not afford uh, was able to always be uh, top of the class a valedictorian in my school then uh, uh, get to the best universities and alhamdulillah so uh, that always stick wherever i find an opportunity to help uh, talk to a young student uh, help even on my family extended family even back home those are our relatives my always encouragement is about education so in ikna leaf as well uh, of course uh, all the departments uh, all the program they are very important and uh, they are uh, crucial for the uh, well being but this uh, program is very close to my heart that when we uh, just bring a smile on the face of a child uh, give him little encouragement that child could be tomorrow your governor your president uh, professor in the university your uh, uh, even uh, if that person is in fire, as a fire marshal as a policeman as a school teacher will always remember uh, uh, that uh, an organization ikna leaf uh, with the logo of muslim for humanity uh, they will always remember that a good act was done and that encouragement can help them to go a long way to the top as they say the sky is the limit just a little bit uh, of uh, encouragement so uh, we uh, have to continue this alhamdulillah within last um, uh, i think 6 uh, 7 years uh, i just the uh, numbers which are recorded numbers were able to uh, help uh, uh, more than 1 million students 60000 alone this year so uh, these 1 million students uh, they are your ambassador they will speak on behalf of you they will uh, uh, always uh, talk good about you and it's not uh, uh, that we uh, are doing it that they become our ambassador that they talk good about you it is because that one successful child can change the uh, situation of the family uh, can uh, 
situation of the neighborhood of the society uh, and the whole country uh, because that positivity what we are uh, spreading a uh, good seed what we are spreading that will bring uh, can make uh, a big tree which uh, uh, provide shade and food uh, to many other people thousands of people in the shape of that successful individual so again i congratulate uh, uh, the whole uh, back to school team uh, i thank our donors and supporters and our volunteers and whole ikner leaf team uh, for that uh, matter to step up and uh, uh, make this a successful event may god bless you may uh, god uh, uh, give uh, <clears throat> help all of us to do the better thing uh, more productive things thank you so much assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh Zakalah khair but I'm excited for that uh, what the story um and uh, your personal story Zakalah khair and thank you so much may Allah bless you and your family and may it inspire others inshallah so brothers Amen. and sisters uh, you heard it from our CEO uh, you know really the motivation so when you have a, a program you have a, a, you know a back from the entire uh, organization uh, it makes uh, a lot of things that we do as people on the ground uh, makes it a much more easier right so um and, you know whenever we want something or we want the support uh you know we have uh, people who understand exactly uh the situation that people uh, who were given back to are in here in the United States of America alhamdulillah so let's get into it uh let's get deep into uh the empower grant uh so sasaria uh you were you were working with the wonderful organization uh let's talk about how we came up to the, with this program this year um so this year mashallah is, um our our program director sister saima asfer she uh, made a partnership with isla isla is the islamic school league of america um and she was um she had a good um she built a relationship with dr shaza khan she's the executive director of the islamic league uh, islamic schools league of america the isla as it as it is better known is a nonprofit that supports full-time islamic schools and islamic school educators through research professional development and resources um it is my pleasure to now introduce dr shaza to join us Hey guys, assalamu alaikum. And Wa alaikum salam. Thank you all so much for having me, um, the Ikna Relief Team, and um, welcome to all of our teachers and educators joining the live stream. We're so happy to have you here, and I know you can't wait to hear more about the winners. Um, but we want to share a little bit about, you know, a little more about the Empower Grant before we get into announcing the winners and what the role of ISLA has in this as well. So the Islamic Schools League of America, as Sister Saria has mentioned, is a nonprofit that supports full-time Islamic schools. We work um, very closely with our Islamic school leaders and teachers, and we know how difficult, in particular, these past um, four years have been. And in fact, the statistics show just how challenging it's been if we take the retention and um, burnout statistics. For example, a 2022 Gallup poll shows that 44% of teachers are burnt out. And, um, you know, going back to some of the stats that our ICNA relief team were talking about, teachers spending from their own po pockets. Um, how much do you think teachers are spending from their own pockets a year? I know that the teachers joining us um, um, know how much that they're doing. The statistics show just on, on national average, there's about $860 um, out of pocket expenses from teachers every year um, for their schools. Yeah, and given what all those statistics, what we were sharing about their pay, that's a significant um, portion, not to mention all of the overtime and energy and passion and, and, and so on and so forth that they put into it, subhanAllah. And we might even imagine that our Islamic school teachers are spending even more. So we are just so thrilled, Surya, that um, ICNA Relief has partnered with us to empower teachers with this very generous grant. And um, Surya, it's been such a pleasure working with you and Dr. Saima to try and make this year's grant cycle even more successful. We had so many different grant applications. Yes. Um, Surya, I, can you tell us a little bit about like the, 
the painstaking um, work that you guys did too to select these, you know, to select the winners that we're going to be announcing soon. Um, yes, definitely. Um, so uh, the application starts on June 20th, uh, 2023 and ends on July 20th, 2023. Um, it's only one month, so it's a, it's a short amount of time for teachers to apply for the grant. Um, but Alhamdulillah, we did receive uh, quite a few applicants this year, mashallah. Um, one of the challenges that we faced were um, there were so many, mashallah, that like it was really hard to decide who to give, how much to give, yeah. going through that um, process. Um, <laughs> Absolutely. Well, and Surya, and the needs are so real, right? The needs They're are so, real. It's so personal. Um, the teachers are writing with a deep passion and desire to, to help their students. Um, yeah. You know, when I looked at the statistics for what are teachers spending their um, these out of pocket expenses on, um, a lot of it is just back to school supplies, books, and then you've got adaptive needs. So, so different kinds of materials and learning furniture even to yeah. help support. We have so many students with so many different kinds of um, needs and, and our teachers are so attuned to it and they want to serve every single child. And so that's not something that's always covered with the traditional classroom budget. Mm -hmm. And um, so subhanAllah, even mental health needs. And I'm sure that you guys saw a lot of that coming through in these grant applications. One thing that was really um, different about this applications were that working with ISTA, um, we had many Islamic schools that applied, mashallah. Um, and going through them, it, most of the Islamic schools are nonprofits, so they're not funded by the government. Um, and then they were asking money for books on like Muslim authors and oh. um, trips to go on to like. Islamic sites and like just giving children a better environment, making them feel like giving them a balance between Deen and Dunya because we send our kids to Islamic school so they could have both. And seeing teachers struggle to like giving them the basic mm. needs that public schools have, but not mm. Islamic schools was really awestrucking. You know, Surya, and so I just want to take this uh, uh, moment to thank the donors and supporters of ICNA Relief, uh, and in particular the Empower Grant, because without you guys, this um, these grants couldn't be possible. And you talked about how painstaking and how difficult it was to, you know, go through all of them and to select the winners. So we want to say, hey, next year, let's not have this problem, inshallah. Let's um, have enough um, funds to be able to support all of the teachers who are applying with legitimate and, and, and important needs. And um, you made this possible. So Jazakum Lokar and, and teachers, you make it possible um, to, to do the work that you are doing to touch the lives of our children. And we are so, so um, grateful to you. And we ask Allah to bless you all. We know we have Muslim and non-Muslim recipients and um, applicants. And we ask for um, blessings in your life in every capacity that you need it, inshallah. And so, Surya, thank you so much again um, for, to you and to Ikna Relief for this partnership. And I don't want to take too much more time, but I want to congratulate all of the winners and all of those who applied, even if you don't end up getting it. And I know now I'm putting on my teacher hat or teacher hijab now, but even if your name doesn't get announced, you were a winner because you applied. And believe me, there are so many more people who could have applied. There may be something that we can look at, inshallah, um, for the next grant cycle that was maybe um, an incomplete or something could have been explained a little bit differently. And so inshallah, with our continued partnership with ICNA Relief, um, we'll continue working with our Islamic school leaders to write those winning grant applications. Jazakum al khairan, so, Ikna Relief team. Thank you guys for the amazing work you do. Jazakum al khairan, it's a yeah, uh, team. Um, it's a great uh, collaboration that we can work. As you know, um, any of the nonprofits, when you work with collaborations and partnerships, it only makes us stronger. Uh, and <clears throat> it's great to have a, a strong uh, partnership with you guys uh, that, you know, where we, we help each other uh, for, for khair, inshallah. And, Thank you so much for your, you know, working with us, and we continue to work with you in the future. 
Inshallah. So guys, alhamdulillah, like this applications now, there was a lot of there was a lot of going back and forth, right? Yeah. So um, you know, I'm sure there's there's people could that could have done things better. I know there was videos that might have there might be applications that not that might have been completed, uh, left un you know empty. So one want to make sure that uh, you know that this process is smooth for next time, right? And so uh, you know we, that we have a bigger turnout, better turnout, inshallah. And we had an enormous amount, uh, uh, amount of applications to come through, um, and all from different, different communities, inshallah. But brother Khaled, you do you have any input on the how the process kind of went from uh, a bird's eye view? Well, I think the, um, you know, from a marketing perspective, we needed to reach out to the schools and, and um, Islamic schools in, in specific, because our aim for this Empower Grant, as we discussed uh, amongst the team, was that that's where the greatest needs are, that, you know, teachers at the Islamic school, they need the basic supplies, like one of the winners who's talking about, you know, even, and Sister Saria mentioned this, is that basic books about Islamic authors and perspectives, or going on a field trip, and, um, you know, taking the kids out, just even out for some treats or some celebrating to eat, maybe in a different way and decorating the, the classrooms as such in that regard. So all these little things that they need. So that's why we, we try and empower the Islamic school teachers first and foremost. And, uh, you know, reaching out to them is, uh, is a great opportunity through the ISLA partnership that we had. And so that's why I think our turnout turned out to be pretty good this year. Alhamdulillah. Now, there was... There was... What were some of the cases that didn't get, get through? What, what would be one of the main things that did not? Because... Sorry, can you have that? Some... One of the main reasons why the applications didn't go through was um, they didn't submit their legal documentations, their W-9s or their social security cards. Um, and I just want to like put a disclaimer out there that we ha we handle all of these information with confidentiality. We keep it safe. There's no leakage. Like, we have a proper system. Uh, so p please feel secure when you send these documents to us uh, that there won't be any mishap. Mashallah. And they also send videos too, right? Yeah. They were doing a setting of videos <laughs> on, on what actually they're going to be using the content for, inshallah ta'ala. So I'm going to use this little uh, headway to kind of introduce to all of you one of the winners, one of the teachers, mashallah, who I we know very well here in Southern California, uh, Sister uh, Anan uh, Abdel Nasser, if we can get her on right now, inshallah ta'ala. Uh, Sister Anan is uh, no, uh, <laughs> not, not somebody new to Ikhna Relief. Inshallah, welcome Sister Anan. How's everything with you? Good, good. Thank you guys for having me join you guys. Absolutely. So Sister Anan, she was event coordinator for uh, the best uh, office in all of uh, Ikhna Relief, of course, Southern California, Fuller, you know, at that time, Anaheim office, now Fullerton office, but inshallah, she used to, she was a formal uh, Ikhna Relief worker as an event uh, coordinator, and mashallah, right now, she is a teacher for Islamic studies uh, at Orange Crescent School, uh, which those of you who are from Southern California know that's it's connected to uh, the Islamic Society of Orange County, Garner Grove Masjid, Al Rahman Masjid. And so, Sister Anan, welcome and tell mm -hmm. us what it is, what, what do you do as a teacher, and how this grant helps you, inshallah. So, thank you so much for the uh, support. Um, for this grant, I had applied for it for an outdoor classroom space. So we have added 100 students to our school because of the current climate. And we also add in an 11th grade, but we are tight on space. And um, what I wanted to do is create a nature space, a place where the children can grow vegetables. They can um, take their math lesson outdoors when they need to and have some wiggle room. Even for the older students, I think it's much needed. Um, many of the classrooms now are more impacted and the students are spaced, so their desks are very close to one another. So I felt like they need to be outdoors more. And um, one of my friends has an institute here called the Art and Wilderness Institute. And classes are for homeschoolers and they're always based outside in, in nature. So my son was at that school last year. 
uh, and now I, I enrolled him in this school that I'm teaching at Orange Crescent School. So I wanted to mer like merge both of those best practices and give our students that are indoors more of an opportunity to connect with nature outside and and to take their learning outside when when the, it, the teacher seems um, it is feasible. So this space would be just like the computer lab where it would be rented space. They can sign up for it per week. All the teachers would be using this space and they can um, sign up for it week by week based on what lessons they want to use. So it'd be a shared space. MashaAllah. And so a lot of the, uh, the, so when you saw the grant, what was your first reaction? I was super excited um, because I see the need. Um, I We just started teaching last week so with the students back in um, you see that need in them that they're they're really needing to move they're needing extra sunshine and so I see the great potential that'll bring their learning now how many students are typically uh, in your in your class in, um, in your classes that you think will benefit? class sizes have increased greatly uh -huh. um, so we have about 24 students on average in a classroom our third grade has 31 students. It's our largest classroom. So class sizes have increased. Wow. And and we're talking about what's their background? What's the what's their kids? What's these the kids' background? Give us some input on some of your students. So our students, most of them stay with us. They begin in preschool and they graduate at the high school level. So many of them are very tight knit. Because of that energy, they're almost like siblings. Uh, they've been together since preschool. They're very tight knit. So um, just having them space out here and there and get a little breather in an outdoor classroom will really help um, their their engagement and keep them in tune with their teacher. Now, there's also a few other students, a few other teachers that also applied from the school, if I'm not correct. If I'm, if I'm yes, I know um, our Arabic teachers also applied. I'm not sure who won the grant and who did not. But uh, the way that I applied for it is I applied with it in mind that all of us would be winning. So it'll be a shared I'm space. So I, I did mention to our teachers um, to start a thinking team and whoever wants to join me and tell me what do you need in this space so that when you do bring your classroom in. So shade and seating are the first two kind of things that we're going to play around with, with um, how to create this space where it's comfortable um, and um, that it meets it meets the students' needs as well. Alhamdulillah, alhamdulillah, yeah. and mashallah. Uh, go ahead, brother Khan. Do you want to say? Yeah, something? no, I wanted to say something. That's such an amazing, amazing uh, concept that you came up with. I love that fact because I know my uh, nieces are homeschooled, and um, so my uh, sorry, my niece's kids. So my niece takes them to this nature center, mm -hmm. and they love the activity. And we have obviously winters in Chicago. But then they get to experience yeah. the winter cycle and they get to experience the wind cycle, uh, uh, spring cycle. And they love the outdoor activities. And I know that how great of an impact it has. And, uh, you know, just just even being out, outside from the classroom alone does it. And yes. you took it even a step further. So Mabruk and congratulations to you on that idea. Thank you, guys. Zakalah khair, sister, and then we won't take too much of your time. I know you have your son over, uh, you know, Faris, very, we're very fond of, mashallah, very active kid. Zakalah khair, and thank you uh, for applying and, uh, and and getting awarded. Inshallah, we'll see you uh, again great. next year. Barakallahu <laughs> fikum. Inshallah, Zakalah khair, thank you. And uh, shout outs, big shout outs to the Orange Crescent uh, School in Garden Grove, California, guys. Zakalah khair. Yeah, congratulations. Yeah. Alhamdulillah, first teacher, yeah. right? We have another first teacher, teacher coming up. And, and an amazing concept. I, I love the concept. I, I, I want more schools to take that up. You yeah. know, just even making the place outside. Alhamdulillah, our masjid uh, has a nice uh, walkway. And there's a brother who takes time to plant the flowers and roses up out in a little walk area after uh, Juma. It's amazing, amazing concepts. And the it's for the kids, it'll be great. Excellent. Alhamdulillah. And so subhanAllah, uh, guys, when we're going to go, we're going to go through the list of awardees. I know some of the uh, people logging in. MashaAllah, tabarakAllah. Uh, welcome. Welcome for all of you who have logged in. Uh, we have the record number of viewers right now, MashaAllah, <laughs> uh, of people coming in. And some of you are teachers. And we wanted to say, guys, we love the fact that you applied uh, for uh, this grant and those of you who uh, made it through inshallah um, can teach some of the other your colleagues 
um, of what you did, mashallah ta'ala, uh, and, and, and get it granted this, uh, this uh, award, inshallah. So please, uh, we're going to go nothing, we're not going to delay you any longer, mashallah. So we're going to talk about the first 20 people who are awarded, inshallah, so sorry, you want to get this started? Let's do this. Let's go. Okay. Um, so this is the Empower Grant big announcement. These are the 2023 winners, mashallah. Um, just to give you guys a little background, we are giving about 40 awards this year, um, starting off with uh, Felicity LaFerry from Birmingham, Alabama. Mashallah, mashallah. Yeah, <laughs> We have Zainab Azam from Birmingham, Alabama as well. Well, we're going to be going through alphabetical order. Uh, State-wise, yes. Awesome. And now we're in California, so brother Abdullah, Abdullah take there over. There you go. Zaka uh, I would like to uh, uh, thank uh, Sister Deborah Graves for her application, mashallah. I uh, hope you um, you follow up with us, inshallah. We'd like to see uh, your updates for it for this grant and um how you applied for it inshallah jazakallah khair thank you for applying okay brother tariq ali salam alaikum jazakallah khair and from los angeles california um mashallah thank you so much for applying i do believe i knew know you <laughs> mashallah um and that shows the diversity the first applicant was from silverado this is from los angeles jazakallah khair brother ali for applying inshallah Mashallah, Upland, California, another part of this. This is different counties in in California. They're about um, sixty miles away from each other, or sometimes 30, 30 to sixty miles away from each other. So Deborah, uh, Al Fadrai. But guys, I'm so sorry. I'm not the yeah. one the best to uh, pronounce the name. So if I chop your names up, please forgive me, inshallah. Uh, from Upland, California, thank you so much for applying and getting awarded for uh, the grant. Hopefully, inshallah, ta'ala, uh, we can see your school uh, improving. Linda Abdul Satir, Corona, California. Jazakallah khairan for applying. Uh, Corona community, a beautiful community that I love to visit all the time. Zakala Khair, Sister Linda, for uh, applying and awarding. And hopefully, inshallah, we'll have a lot of students benefiting from you and your efforts. Uh, Sister Michelle Sandoval, Baldwin Park, California, Southern California. Alhamdulillah. Zakala Khair, uh, Michelle, thank you so much for applying and getting awarded, mashallah. Uh, Sister Anand, mashallah, she, we just heard from her al already, so from Irvine, California. She goes to Orange, uh, she teaches at the Orange Crescent um, uh, School. One of the things I think for the Empire Grant that we didn't mention uh, is that typically uh, this Empire Grant is for, for elementary to middle schoolers. And mm -hmm. so, so, so this is one thing to kind of keep around. Sister Farida Ibrahim from Port Orange, Florida. Zakala Khair, and thank you for applying for the grant, mashallah. And I hope the city, state of Florida, uh, can benefit from the grant as well. Thank you. Uh, Sabina Torolo. Oh. I'm going. I'm going through all the states, mashallah. Tell yeah. me this and that. I'll go with Georgia, and then we'll go to the next state, inshallah. Sabrina Torolo, thank you so much from Lawrence, Georgia. Thank you so much for applying, and hopefully, um, you are excited and motivated from the Academic Power Empower Grant. Okay, Georgia Fauzia Raza, salamu alaikum, sister. May Allah bless you and your family. Thank you so much for applying from Atlanta, Georgia. Jazakallah khair. We hope that it benefits you and your students. And this is now Khalid's turn right here. <laughs> sure. Farzana Yahya from Naperville, Illinois. Congratulations. We're so happy for you. And uh, Brother Abdullah, this might be a good time to interject to let them know that the winners who've gotten the grants that if they can document and send us video and anything, how they're used, right? Yeah, absolutely. So uh, yeah, definitely we want to, we're going to be communicating with all the teachers to making sure that, uh, you know, they send us some, some video work. We'd love to share that with the, with our, our, our sponsors and the, 
um, and with those supporting the work. And we want to continue to make this a bigger program because we know so many teachers, as we mentioned, you know, uh, that the average, uh, you know, national average $800, uh, you know, uh, spending out of, out, of, pocket. out of pocket. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Next slide, please. So we have Fatima Khan again from Naperville, Illinois. Congratulations. We hope you're excited about hearing this. Renad Mohammed again from Naperville, Illinois, mashallah. Nasreen Omar from Bloomington, Indiana. Amazing, mashallah. Congratulations, Sister Nasreen. We have Melkir Nuna Boslamat from Louisville, Kentucky. Congratulations. Noor Al Jalab from Louisville, Kentucky. Congratulations. And we have Christine Austin from Northborough, Massachusetts. Hey, this is Sister Father's territory. <laughs> Next slide, please. Debbie Rashid from Ellicott City, Maryland. Congratulations. Courtney Brown from Laurel, Maryland. Congratulations, mashallah. All right, so we have uh, another uh, teacher with us, Sister Shamela. She is from, give me one second, let me give, grab my notes quickly. Sister Saria, do you have that? Yes. Uh, she yes, is she is from Chesterfield, Virginia. She's a teacher from uh, in the grade level six through eight. So if sister can, uh, we can bring her online. I'll give her a little introduction about her. She's from uh, a, uh, an Islamic school where what she wants to do is utilize the Google Classroom technology. She wants to take the kids out for a uh, field trips. She wants to empower them with his Islamic history books and just uh, you know combine that value add Islamic schools add and we all love to send them to is beyond just the curriculum. And she wants to touch on all of those points. And then so, uh, and another amazing thing is that she wants to empower the kids on how to use, uh, make personal blankets, personal kits for the homeless people, which is an amazing thing that, you know, as I see in a relief, we love that she's teaching about service to the kids. So um, technology is an, another amazing tool. And uh, without it, um, you know, in, in today's uh, age, these kids need to know how to use these things. And many of them already do. So she'll probably be teaching the teacher how to use some of this stuff. But uh, collaboration tools are, are, are huge. And uh, so inshallah, we look forward to hearing from the teacher uh, soon. She's got, uh, she wants to get a projector so that she can share uh, this with the teachers, uh, set up some computers. Well, she's got another neat idea. She's got, she established a Salah crew and that team organizes Salahs, but apparently she could only organize pins for their achievements from personal funds and she didn't have enough to cover. So uh, we hope that this grant is able to help her with that as well. Mashallah. So let's see. So, yeah, let's see. We're we having a little bit. An issue with the, with no, the speakers, no mashallah. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, alhamdulillah, I think uh, Sister Shamayla, Sister Shamayla is representing uh, the state of Georgia, I believe. And I think. She's Virginia. She's from Virginia. Okay, mashallah. Yeah, Chesterfield, Virginia. Okay, mashallah. So, yeah. that just shows the the wide range of states that we cover here at Ikhna mm -hmm. Walif, alhamdulillah. And so, mashallah, uh, you know, Chesterfield, Chesterfield, Virginia. I'm actually from Northern Virginia. That's where I grew up. Uh, so it's good to hear something. Anything I hear from California or Virginia kind of gets me all hyped up, inshallah. Uh, so, yeah. alhamdulillah. I think Sister, Sh uh, Sister Shamayla uh, is here. Right, well, let's put her on. Assalamu alaikum So nice to have you. Congratulations, Sister Shamayla. Um, so we had a brief introduction, so go ahead and take it away and tell us, uh, you know, your your input on, on what you'd like to do with the grant and how you feel. I feel fortunate. I feel blessed. Uh, uh, for uh, arranging. I would start with, alhamdulillah, um, it's, uh, it's a blessing. It's a namana, and I will also say that it's a burden. It's a, it's a namana. And... Uh, um, uh, 
from the person uh, who had the intention of you know bringing this program to the person who has actually worked out i would i'm thankful to everyone after last month we um, alhamdulillah, alhamdulillah so we as a, as a as educator um i have realized throughout my this is, I'm, I'm like teaching i would introduce myself briefly first so, so um my, my name is Somaila and i I'm in, um, a teacher uh, at Al Madina School of Richmond in Virginia, and uh, I teach Islamic studies, history, government, um, and Arabia. So, um, yeah, it's, it's, it's a lot on the plate, alhamdulillah. But um, this is my fifth year here, and um, I have realized that, that financing plays a critical role. It it, it just determines the level of effectiveness it can drain you out it can just uh, uh, um, if, if not enough funds are available it can impact the student ability their outcome their learning outcome the impact is so, so huge that, that i can think of um so, so this, this fund I, I see as a blessing because i'll be able to do so much that i ever dreamed of um so so um, various aspects, as um, rather mentioned, that I uh, I look forward to achieving uh, and taking care of some challenges that I've come across, such as um, I want my students, as Muslim uh, students, I want them to come out of their bubble, go and interact with the community because that's, that's a real real life. Mm -hmm. And uh, speech program that was my initial mm -hmm. year. Right. And, um, I didn't have, have funds. I it was. It was a struggle. A lot I had to spend from my pocket. Alhamdulillah, that's not a problem. But um, I could do more. I could do right. much more with with uh, which, inshallah, mm -hmm. that has provided me with now. Field trips. Um, some of the programs that I want my students to go for. Now I'll be able to do that as well, inshallah. Um, it will be more effective, inshallah. I look forward to buy a projector for my class. Okay. Both of them have you know struggle with um with that um and um, um coming back to the speech program I also look at the resources I want want to buy um, books for my students uh, which are, are written by Muslim scholars and mm -hmm. um, if I throw them on the internet they're gonna find all the resources which might right. be authentic which might not be so inshallah mm -hmm. that would be one help. Uh, for Tarbiya, uh, I want them to do community work rather than me standing giving yeah. lectures. So we look right. to do that, and uh, mm -hmm. I also look forward uh, to the interfaith program for my students as well. So we might be we were working with on uh, peace projects. So we'll be able to find maybe buy some tree to share or give that. Wow! So let's see where how. Yeah, oh, I can go. Amazing, you're you're very no no you're a very creative teacher, mashallah. I'm I'm so happy, and I'm sure that the kids uh, love you. You have yeah. unique ways of interacting with them and expanding their horizons. You know, mashallah. Congratulations to you and your team, and uh, the school where you're at. We hope the best for you, exactly. especially the tarbiya aspect and how you're uh, you know creatively introducing kids to speech as well as the, their basic prayers of Salah. And then in addition, the uh, field trips that you're talking about to all the different places. So kids, I know love to get out and have a day off from school, but uh, a field trip is an amazing learning experience, especially some of the places where museums and things they offer such great value and with a teacher like you, and I'm sure you'll make it even more of an experience go farther along. I appreciate it. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. No problem. Congratulations. So, Brother Abdullah and Sister Sari, we have another batch of uh, winners that we're announcing. Yes, we are. Uh, Sister Mina, if you can share those slides. Brother Abdullah, check your audio, please, because I don't think we heard you. So, do a test. So, we have Aisha Karachiwala from Marriottsville, Maryland. Congratulations. So we have, I would, uh, Sister Sari, you want to take a crack at this? I apologize, sister, but I'm going to do my best. I said to Saram 
Bono from Detroit, Michigan. So sorry for the mispronunciation, but we're so happy that you won. Halima Ismail from Grand Rapids, Michigan. Congratulations. And we have Hala Krain from Kentwood, Michigan. Congratulations. Nurja Abdu from Kentwood, Michigan again, Mabruk sister. Sana Fawar from Piscataway, New Jersey. Congratulations, home state of ICNA relief. Oh, wow. Shamus Hussein from Cliffwood, New Jersey. So, Sasari, you wanna do the next match? Uh, sure. Uh, Brian Steinberg from Buffalo, New York. Congratulations. Congratulations. Aisha Farahat from Staten Island, New York. Congratulations. Congratulations. Rashida Abdur Razak from Cleveland, Ohio. Congratulations. Uh, Sierra Monet. From uh, Stu Stewart from Cleveland, Ohio. Congratulations. Uh, Laura Fogaretta from Imperial, Pennsylvania. Congratulations. I'm sorry if I chopped your name up. Uh, Okiz Najimuva from Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. Congratulations. Salaf Alam from Houston, Texas. Congratulations. Sabiha Niaz from Plano, Texas. Congratulations, Sister Sabiha. Uh, Ilya Salama from Spring, Texas. Congratulations. Mashallah. Brother Abdullah, do you want to take well, Shamayla Khan, we, she was just talking right now. Yeah. So Shamayla Khan, mashallah, from Chesterfield, uh, Chesterfield, Virginia, mashallah. Uh, great uh, uh, awardee, alhamdulillah. We heard from her. Uh, <clears throat> Naima Maruf from the state of Washington in uh, Renton, Washington. Shout out to, to the Seattle team, mashallah, working very hard uh, with uh, Sheikh Farid uh, and others in that community. Maryam Shabazz Zalab. MashaAllah, I don't know if there's a- From Madison, Wisconsin. Wow, MashaAllah. Zalab, Madison, Wisconsin. Definitely had a, a, a big story in my mind from Madison, Wisconsin. Won't ever forget Madison, Wisconsin. MashaAllah. Sister Wala Awad from Madison, Wisconsin as well. MashaAllah, may Allah bless you guys and your family there. Home of the Juma magazine. There we go, guys. Okay, MashaAllah. Yeah. 40, 40 wonderful, yeah. deserving teachers. MashaAllah. They're going to be inspiring students for the next year uh, by making, you know, giving supplies out, having different programs that they want. That the, that the kids have can have enrichment programs uh, to benefit. Yeah, the them two teachers we had have such creative uh, ideas and stuff. It's amazing to hear. Mashallah. Absolutely, absolutely. Inshallah, Taala, and all the time, and they will never forget. It can relief in the supporting uh, families uh, that support this program, guys. Inshallah. Yeah. So Jazakallah Khair. Give it a uh, tap on the shoulder like this. Inshallah, to have all those teachers that did the good work, mashallah, we know that you did work for the grant, and uh, it yep. wasn't just the one application, right? It yep. was an entire uh, time of providing videos, having the idea of what we're, they're, they're going to be doing, and we had to go through all of that. So, so actually, I didn't have to go through it. Sorry, mashallah. Thank you, Sister Sarah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, shout out to Sister Saima. Yeah, shout, shout out to Sister Saima. MashaAllah, and working very hard on this. And so how many total applications did we get to Sasaria? We got a total of 82 applications. Out of those, Allah. we approved 40. Um, we covered 19 states like you guys saw. It's really diverse this year, MashaAllah. Yeah. Um, and we hope to get more applications, inshallah, get more funding from our donors and sponsors to grow this uh, program. 
uh, as we know, teachers are the teachers of the backbone of our students of our future. So, yeah. alhamdulillah, yeah. alhamdulillah, that's over eighty thousand dollars of uh, of uh, funds that are distributed uh, through this grant this year. May Allah subhanahu wa taala bless all those who bring the support. Inshallah. Amen. So I'm pre we're pretty much done here for today, guys. Um, yeah. We have our own programs, of course, at the end of the fourth week uh, of every month, inshallah. And again, we'll be going in to the month of September uh, with wonderful with wonderful programs. So stay tuned on that, inshallah. Uh, brothers and sisters, uh, we will be ending uh, this right now. But uh, don't forget, hit the like button, hit the love button, hit the hug button, share the, hit the share button. Make sure this goes out to more people in more communities so that we can inspire and benefit more individuals, more children, more kids, more families, uh, more teachers uh, with support uh, that will, inshallah, uplift everybody uh, to reach higher goals and to reach their, uh, you know, educational goals and also, uh, you know, the tarbiya that they have as well, inshallah ta'ala. So with uh, representing Sister Saria Shahid from, uh, Shahid from Chicago, Khalid Khan from uh, the Midwest, all the states in Chicago, of course, where he where he's based at. This is Abdullah Zakria from Ikna Relief, Southern California, spreading you the heat and the love in this last last days of uh, August, inshallah ta'ala. So please hit the share button, hit the love button, and we'll see you in the next broadcast for the, our online online streaming from, from now until next month. Boom! Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Thank you. See you, everybody.